Welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul J. Lipsky, and we've been seeing a flood of YouTubers recently make videos about how they're trying eBay dropshipping. And I'm not too surprised by that because eBay dropshipping is a very simple business model that you can see success with pretty quickly, which makes a really great YouTube video. So that's why they're all making these videos for their channels. But that has made my life really hard because I like to react to all these videos and I just can't keep up with all the YouTubers who are doing it successfully. But the latest eBay dropshipping video I want to check out is by Mike Vestillo. Mike makes a ton of videos about making money online, Shopify, Amazon, and recently he started talking a lot about eBay dropshipping. In fact, he has so many videos about it, I wasn't sure which one to actually watch. So I just decided to check out his most popular video about eBay dropshipping and give my reaction to that video. But first, make sure to smash the like button down below and then go to the description and click the first link for my free eBay dropshipping masterclass. Hey guys, Mike Messia here and in this video we're talking about eBay dropshipping, how it works and how beginners can earn anywhere from $100 to $700 per day. More with that after the intro. Alright, so he's definitely a lot better at those intros to the YouTube videos than I am. But yeah, he said $100 to $700 a day. That's definitely attainable, but let's see if the advice he gives on how to do it is actually accurate. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasil here. Welcome to the studio. Before we actually begin, to remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way. All right, so that is an adorably cute puppy. To make I don't know what it has to do with eBay dropshipping, but I love puppies, so already I am loving this video. Okay, so eBay dropshipping was one of the first things that actually allowed me to not only get a bunch of success, but also to start actually having a bunch of travel rewards credit card points for free that allowed me to travel and live in Vegas for 30 days in like the hotels that allowed me to fly business class for free that allowed me to start making at least $100 a day in profit as a complete. Yes, yes, I love that he's talking about this because so many people miss this point entirely. I have a lot of friends back from when I was in college and my first job who spent a lot of time doing the credit card churning and they love just gathering up those points, but they always had to do something called manufactured spending, which is basically when they for new cards and they kind of fake ways to spend money on the cards just to rack up the points and the sign up bonuses. But with, with drop shipping, with eBay drop shipping, you are putting a lot of money on your credit cards. So you are naturally going to accumulate a ton of points that you can use for travel, for hotels like he is. And this gets so overlooked by people. I know people who get into drop shipping just to do this, just as a way to do credit card churning. Complete beginner, which is actually really perfect for anyone who just wants to make money online and wants to get started, but they're not tech savvy and they don't know where to actually begin. So let's actually talk about what eBay dropshipping is. Well, all eBay dropshipping is, is dropshipping on eBay, okay? Now here's an example of the dropship business model and you're gonna figure out where eBay comes in. It's so funny, I've watched so many of these videos and I've obviously made a lot of videos about dropshipping eBay before and everyone uses this same image and it's because this is one of the first ones that comes up when you search for it on Google. So a customer comes in and goes to your store and buys it for $200. You take $50 profit and then you take 150 of those dollars and you go to the supplier and then you order the product with the customer's money, not your own money, okay? So you don't even need any money whatsoever to actually go ahead and do this. The supplier then gets the customer's information from you and sends it directly to the customer and then you profit 50 bucks, okay? That's essentially how the dropshipping business model. That essentially is how it works. It's the same way on eBay. The only point I would kind of make there is that because eBay holds your money, you will have to use those credit cards to fulfill the order. But then once eBay releases the money to you, you can pay off that credit card, which again is how you're going to rack up those credit card points anyway. It works. Now where eBay comes in is eBay gives you the customers Okay, so all you're really doing is just talking to the suppliers because eBay is doing the hard work of the marketing aspect of things. Essentially, this is exactly how I did it when I was doing really well with this. We're doing like hundreds of orders a day with this, right? All I would do is I would just type in something that I wanted to sell. Like let's, for example, 
Let's go back for one second because he made a he made a very quick passing comment that's really important. He said eBay does all the marketing for you. Now I've watched several of Mike's videos. I know he has a background in marketing because of Shopify and these other online businesses that he's made. So he knows he knows how difficult marketing is because it is very difficult to get people to visit your website. So he kind of is alluding here to the fact that you don't have to worry about getting people to visit your Shopify website or wherever you're selling your products because eBay is doing that marketing for you. And that is huge. That is a real game changer when it comes to any online business because you're going where the customers already are. Let's talk about like patio furniture. And this is in Indonesia rupiah because right now I'm like in Bali where I interview like all these epic people that have made millions of dollars in all other ways other than eBay dropshipping. So you could just shameless plug to the podcast, but it's all in Indonesian rupiah, right? So it's not like $144,000 for this patio furniture, okay? This right here is like about like 900 bucks or so, right? So what I would do is I would see what products are going ahead and selling for. And as you can see, this product right here, which is actually about $1,100 in US dollars, they've sold 123 things. So I know that this is an opportunity that I could go and drop ship in if people are literally buying things for like $1,000 plus for this patio furniture, right? So what I would do is I would just type in just for like other things as well that were very similar to this. Look at this, dining or table set, right? I'm just gonna type in table. All right, so, so right now what he's doing is called product research. He's trying to find out what items are popular on eBay so that he can then sell similar products himself. Now, there's a couple of things here that I'm not too crazy about when it comes to his product research. First of all, he is looking in Indonesia, right? You can see that on the top right, and he, he mentioned that. So that's gonna skew his search results. I believe he's a US citizen. He should be selling on eBay.com for the USA market. So what I would do is I would turn on a VPN if I was him, I would go on eBay.com, and I would see what's popular in the United States on eBay, not what's popular in Indonesia. Now, the next thing that I think he's not quite doing right is it's not enough, in my opinion, in my experience really, just to type in patio furniture and then to see what's popular. You should really be going on trying to find other drop shippers and seeing what they are selling successfully because then you can just go ahead and sell those same products. This is a bit too overreaching, right? You're just looking for a broad category. Oh, you see patio furniture does well, so I'm going to sell patio furniture. But the problem is even if a category like patio furniture does well, there might be specific items in that category that do better than others for drop shipping. So you should try to locate those specific items and sell those specific ones, which is what I teach how to do inside my free training that I mentioned before. And it seems like he's just going more broad with this, which isn't as exact a product research as what I do. Well set. And as you can see, there's this important thing right here. Now this is very important for you to just start taking notes on because this is exactly how the customers are gonna go find your eBay store. This thing is known as search engine optimization. This is what people are actively looking for right now, right? So when you do this, you wanna make sure that when you create a title, you don't do like HomCom3 piece, like, like insert serial number there because no one's ever gonna buy it from you, right? You wanna put in like, table set, drinking table, coffee, six chairs, kitchen. It sounds really weird and messed up, but this is exactly how you're found. Like let's find a good example of someone that made a really good title. Not a lot of these people made really good titles, which is why you could come in and kind of like out compete against them. Let's just do table set outdoor. Okay, so he's absolutely right here, but again, I think he's getting ahead of himself right now. So he's talking now about building titles, and right now we should be concentrating on, on finding the products, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's something that, yeah, you can have in the back of your head how to build titles. He's totally right about building the titles, but I feel like we're, he's getting a little bit ahead of himself here. Doors, see what actually pops up. So here's a really good one. Portable four chair table set, folding kitchen, dining, outdoor picnic, camping garden. All those things were literally just derived from the related search when you go ahead and find that product, right? The next thing you wanna do is find the supplier. So the top suppliers for dropshipping, and you need to write this down, are Overstock, Wayfair, Walmart, and I know it's weird, but Amazon. You're probably wondering, why would people buy things on eBay if they could get it for cheaper on Amazon? I'm telling you this, Amazon shoppers only like buying from Amazon. The same thing with eBay 
people, they only like buying from eBay. There's like a huge community of people that only will buy things on eBay. So for the long- Yeah, so this is something that really confused me when I started drop shipping, when I first heard about it. I think like, why would people go onto eBay and buy something when they could just buy it cheaper on Amazon? But they do. And it's for the exact reason that Mike said, because you have customers on eBay who only want to shop on eBay. It's just more convenient for them to do it that way. Now, personally, I don't drop ship from Amazon onto eBay. eBay doesn't like Amazon, so they don't like when you drop ship Amazon to eBay, but the other suppliers he mentioned are solid suppliers. Longest time, I was really only selling products on eBay from Amazon. Right, which blew my mind. Like one of the things that I was always buying was like this um, RV. And I should mention it definitely worked in the past. So I don't know how long it's been since Mike actually did drop, has drop shipped on eBay. Replacement, it's like all of these things. I didn't even know what the hell they were, but they were doing really well on eBay for some reason. And a lot of like the money that I was making was coming in from like these replacement things for moto homes and whatnot, right? And here they were like 30 bucks and I would sell it on eBay for like, 40 bucks or something like that. And I would just pocket the difference, right? So the moment you kind of like create your listing, which is like free to go and set up, you just sign up and register. I would literally go and take the pictures and images and descriptions of this. And the only thing that I would do is change this thing. Cause no one is searching for this, right? I would literally come in here, type in like replacement vent RV. And you just gotta keep on typing things until you see something that pops up. So RV roof here. RV roof replacement kit. This is exactly what people are searching for. So I would create like a listing that says replacement kit. I would go over to Amazon, take this image, and as well as like all these crazy uh, like titles, I would post it up on eBay. And I would cross my fingers that eBay would be able to give me a customer. And when they do, because most of the times, like a lot of times, like for some reason I was able to make sales just from this simple method and especially just posting a bunch of things. Yeah, so I think maybe this method probably worked fine in the past when he was doing it. But like I said, times have changed. You really gotta do better product research. I'm not crossing my fingers, hoping that something sells. I'm listing up products for sale that I've done the product research on and I know are probably going to sell, not just crossing my fingers and hoping they're going to sell on eBay, odds are you're eventually gonna get one that works. I mean, it's completely free to get started, so it does, doesn't make sense why not to try this. I literally take that money, order it from Amazon, Amazon would ship it to them in two days, and the customer was happy and get, leave me good feedback. And if the customer was like, well, Mike, I don't want this product, I want to return. I would literally get my return label from Amazon and then just send it to them and then they just return it to Amazon. I know it sounds weird. You're like, how does that even work? Just trust me after like selling hundreds and hundreds of units and thousands and thousands of units, no one really cared or noticed the packaging in the Amazon thing. But you don't have to use Amazon. You that part's completely true too. And especially with the returns, they're super easy. The packages are not things that people worry about. So he's spot on correct about that. You can also use Walmart, Wayfair, and Overstock. Now here's like a little hack that I ended up finding out that ended up allowing me to travel for free in business class and get like millions of free travel rewards credit card points. I noticed that I was buying hundreds of dollars of worth of products every single day, right? And it wasn't my own money that I was taking. Remember, I'm using the customer's money. So you could add like a third, like a, a 2.5 step in here, and essentially you buy the products with a travel rewards credit card. Like look at this. With the travel rewards credit card, you get points whenever you actually go ahead and make purchases. One point for every $1 spent. So if you're spending $1,000 a day on inventory that your, customers, that your customers are paying you, that's 1,000 free points every single day. You could even double dip with more cashback sites. Like look at this, Rakuten.com. And that's not even the best one. So the, the card that I use a lot in general is a Capital One card that gives me 2% back on all of my purchases. And if you use store cards like Walmart card or the Amazon card, you can get 5% back on all your purchases, which is huge, especially if you're doing a high volume of sales from these websites. And those are the cars that personally I highly recommend. In fact, I think I have a whole video about it that I will link up to up here if you guys wanna check out the best cards, credit cards for drop shipping on any platform, specifically ones that you're gonna be using for eBay drop shipping. So now that you know exactly how it works, let's go over the pros and cons. The pros is you don't need any money to get up and running and started, right? Like literally I did this as a broke college student, which is why this is one of the first business models that I got into. The second pro is you get 
Uh, 100% agree with that. So when I first started eBay dropshipping, the reason I started doing it was because I had tried several other online businesses before that, including Shopify dropshipping, and I did not see any success with them. And it cost me a bunch of money to start up all these things. So the amount of money that I had budgeted for myself to try entrepreneurship and online businesses, I pretty much drained that budget. I had pretty much nothing left. So I needed something that was very cheap and very low risk to get started. That's how I found eBay dropshipping. And I'm so glad I did because I was able to get started, low risk, low cost to start it, and was able to see success. And that has now spawned this, this lifestyle that I have, which I feel very, very blessed for. The second pro is you get travel rewards credit card points. I mean, who doesn't like to travel for free? Who doesn't like to travel business class for free? Who doesn't like living in a Las Vegas hotel for 30 days just to like fulfill his teenage fantasies when I was younger for free? This guy, right? Everyone wants to do it, the right? points so are why? awesome too. I don't actually do points myself. I do cash back. So I get all that money and you can redeem those for cash or statement credits or gift cards. He's kind of convinced me that maybe I should start doing credit card points again so I can start doing some more traveling. Why not get free travel awards points as well? The travel awards points are ridiculous, guys. Like, like I said, that alone, I, I remember it like, that alone, it would be a really big reason to do this, just to get the free travel points. And another pros, you don't need to be that tech savvy. Like you could literally just watch this video over and over again, find the right keywords that are literally on the top of this, and repeat this over and over again, and get yourself upwards to $100 a day, right? That's how much I was able to get this to, $100 a day profit as a broke individual that had no tech experience whatsoever. Now let's talk about the cons. Yeah, Number so one I, I kind of disagree on that one. I think you will need a little bit more information, although I do agree that it doesn't require a ton of tech savvy, as he calls it. But in particular, I feel like the product research, you really gotta learn how to do that. You really gotta nail that down because that really makes a difference between someone who, who makes that $100 a day and someone who never makes any profit with their eBay dropshipping business. I think he's gonna talk about the cons now. One. It's very hard to scale, okay? You can make it like a certain amount, but you can't break, you know, like like $1,000 a day in profit. It's just very, very hard to do so, especially now. I this do agree with that. You know, it is hard to break $1,000 a day in profit, but that is a lot of money. $1,000 a day in profit is a lot of money. And there is scalability to this business, right? You're not doing everything manually over and over and over again, right? You are using software that will help you do this. So one thing Mike didn't mention is what happens if you list one of those patio sets up for sale and then all of a sudden the price changes on overstock or the item goes out of stock on overstock. Well, we actually have software that will automate that to make sure that all those changes are automatically reflected on eBay so you don't sell an item that's out of stock. So you don't sell an item whose price change. You can also hire virtual assistants to help you run the business and do the product research for you. As far as the listing process, again, he didn't show how to list products, but the way he would do it is he would copy everything one by one. The photos, copy and paste. The description, copy and paste. But we have software that all you have to do is plug in the URL and it automatically lists that item onto eBay for you with all the photos and the description and you would just change the title exactly like Mike said to do. The second thing is competition sucks, okay? The reason why it, it's, it's good is because it's easy. But because it's so easy, a lot of people wanna get into things like this, right? And just like that, people, the smarter that they get when they stop just using these like words that aren't keywords that people are searching for, people end up getting smarter and people are also, like the profit margins are gonna start going down. Like for example, for me, I was selling this thing right here. It was ab wheel roller. Now I used to sell, I'm gonna show you the exact one I was selling for because yeah, it's probably so, still on product, uh, so, so competition does exist on eBay, but one thing he's missing is that there's always more buyers coming in and the number of buyers is always going to outpace the number of sellers. And the other component that he kind of doesn't mention is that yes, there are a lot of people coming in to start selling, but most people, because they think it's so simple and easy, they're not learning the right way to do it. And there are different ways to sell than what everyone else is doing that can allow you to have success while other people aren't. So if you fall into that camp and you learn the right way to do it, that is really where you can see the success and make the profit where other people can't. 
But overall, it was still a really good thing to get started with because it taught me SEO, search engine optimization, it taught me how to pick good and winning products, and it taught me how to adapt and give me the initial cash flow to start investing in other businesses, right? So if you literally need $1,000 fast and you are literally, you can't survive without it, I would literally just do this until you get $1,000 and then get your next action step. So overall, I think Mike gives a really good explanation as to what eBay dropshipping is and you know, kind of like a general idea of how it works. I wouldn't call it a step-by-step, -step, but hey, it's a really good overview. But let's actually check out the comments section and see what other people have to say about this video. So the top comment here is from Raymond who said, very informative. Many people say that dropshipping is dead in 2021. Problem is they can't find the right products, which in my opinion is the most important thing for this type of business. And I think Raymond really hit the nail on the head there. I could not agree with him more. And for all the reasons I already talked about before. Nadine had a question here. It said, great video in regards to supplier getting customer details. Does that process involve us physically inputting their details when ordering from the supplier. And Nadine, in general, yes. So someone's gonna buy it from you on eBay, you're gonna then go buy from Wayfair or Overstock in, in this example, and you're actually gonna take the shipping details and you're actually gonna plug them into the supplier's website yourself. There is software that can kind of do that for you with just one click, which kind of speeds things up. That's a nice Chrome extension that I use that does that. But yeah, in, in general, it will have to be manual or you have a virtual assistant do it, which is what I do. Adam says, how does this work if they add a box with the Amazon logo? And that is a real concern, right? A big concern that I had I actually made a whole video about this that I'll link up up here where I actually ordered a bunch of stuff from like Amazon, Walmart, a bunch of these other retailers, had them shipped to my home and kind of saw what the experience was like as someone that I drop shipped to. And you can see in that video that most people don't care because they just rip open the box, they're happy to get their item. Lots of people cross sell, meaning they sell on Amazon and eBay so that if they get something in an Amazon box, they're not gonna really wonder, oh, why is this an Amazon box? A lot of times those boxes are just reused. And that video really explains more about why people don't care. Samantha here says, do you have like a course to follow eBay dropshipping? Shameless plug, I have a course about eBay dropshipping. I'll have that linked up down below. But more importantly, if you want a free training on how to do this, really a lot more step-by-step, -step, that will be the first link in the description below. That's a completely free training for you to check out. And then we have this comment from Hitman that says, nice biceps, LOL. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do, smash that like button, and then let me know in the comments section who has nicer biceps, Mike or me. Then make sure to check out this video right here where I do another reaction video to another YouTuber making videos about eBay dropshipping. See you there in just one second.